Hello, everyone. Back to you today's first video. Good weekend forecast for today's first video. As always, on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. Doing it early today because later on, we're going to have the third and final seasonal uh, model roundup for uh, the summer. So, begin 11 long range models together, seeing what they're all showing uh, for the summer. And then tomorrow, of course, we're going to be issuing the gasweathers.com summer 2017 uh, forecast. So, lots of updates coming up over the bank holiday uh, weekend. Do keep checking back for more. But we're starting off with weekend book. It's going to be quite an interesting uh, week ahead, particularly focused on bank holiday weekend with thundery weather that's going on right now and will continue through the rest of today in some places and also again on Sunday night and into bank holiday Monday. I'll talk you through all of that in a second. But before I get on with that, just say about websites we're using for weekend forecast coming from the weatheroutlook.com and wetcentral.d. You can find the links, the links to both of those websites on the links page. So this is the uh, latest rail picture. You've got a massive heavy thundery rain across Ireland, and that's stretching down into far southwest of England. And then we've got this line of showers and thunderstorms, uh, which are pushing northeastwards through Wales and Midlands and down into some uh, southeastern parts of the country. If you have a look at the lightning. Uh, detector and remove the rain overlay uh, so we've got to uh, do that and uh, that should work perhaps yep there we go um, we can see we've got a few flashes of lightning through the Midlands but most of the lightning actually is down in the southeast of England that wasn't really where it's anticipated uh, to be so as ever with um, thunderstorms just never quite know how things are going to play out uh, play out exactly um, but we have got this band of showers pushing north eastwards and there could be lightning almost anywhere within this band of uh, showers that's moving north eastwards through the course of this morning here's today's stock tip pressure chart low pressure is taking over the weather after a few days of high pressure and hot temperatures and this low pressure is what's bringing these showers and thunderstorms. So, through the course of uh, this one, you're going to find that line of showers pushing further northwards in towards parts of uh, northern England, southwestern Scotland, probably, by uh, the start of this afternoon. Far on behind, I think most of England and Wales actually turned dry, and the sun will come out and turn very warm, if not hot again down in the southeast. Those persistent <coughs> excuse me, outbreaks of rain across Ireland will continue through much of the day, gradually pushing northwards and uh, clearing away towards this evening. Later on this afternoon, those showers will uh, migrate from northern England up into Scotland. Some really torrential downpours are possible this afternoon across parts of uh, northern England and up into Scotland. Well, get flash flooding, 25, 50 millimetres of rain, a couple of inches in a very short space of time is possible from some of these intense downpours. And there will be lightning and thunder to go with them as well. So a lively old day coming up and temperatures where we've got this rain are going to be subdued, of course, around 19, 20 degrees. But in the southeast, it'll be very hot again this afternoon with temperatures somewhere like central London, not all that far from 30 degrees, 86 Fahrenheit uh, once again. Overnight tonight, those uh, showers and thunderstorms will continue to push northwards across uh, Scotland. I think the uh, lightning and thunder will tend to uh, die down through the course of night, but you'll keep some outbreaks of rain going well into the night, eventually clearing away to the far north and northeast. Most places will turn uh, or become or stay dry with clear spells, and temperatures are going to be quite warm again tonight, holding up in double figures for most parts. You get a little bit of a fresher feel perhaps in the north and west, but generally quite a warm night. Now for Sunday, high pressure is uh, dominating. We've got this little ridge across the country, but uh, pressure is starting to lower to the south once again. I think we're going to start off with a lot of dry weather once more on Sunday with sunny spells coming through. But we could have showers developing across southern parts of the country on Sunday afternoon. Some of them could be heavy and thundery. In fact, thunderstorms are certainly possible through the channel and on the south coast by the end of Sunday afternoon. But central northern parts of the country will stay dry with sunny spells. Temperatures won't be quite as hot tomorrow, but even so, still very warm and quite humid down in the southeast. Around 27 degrees, certainly possible, 81 in Fahrenheit. It will be a fresher feel, I think, up in the north with temperatures there around 18 to 21. 
Now, overnight sunny into Monday, that low pressure is going to start to push up out of France once again. So that's going to bring thunderstorms, perhaps initially, to southern counties. And then more general outbreaks of thundery rain may start to move northwards later on in the night. So by bank holiday Monday morning, it could well be that uh, much of central and southern England and Wales is quite wet with some persistent outbreaks of thundery rain and maybe a few thunderstorms mixed in too. Central and northern areas look mostly dry uh, with clear spells overnight into uh, Bank Holiday Monday. Bank Holiday Monday sees this area of low pressure developing across the country. So it's going to be an unsettled day, uh, particularly focusing on England and Wales with some heavy showers, if not longer outbreaks of rain, thunderstorms. Again, can't be uh, ruled out with this on Bank Holiday Monday. The whole lot gradually moving northwards, getting up towards parts of Northern Ireland and uh, southwestern Scotland, north England too, perhaps, uh, by the end of the day. Central and northern parts of Scotland probably tend to get the best of the weather. Later on, it might brighten up down in the south, but if it does, that could set off more heavy and thundery showers or thunderstorms by the end of Bank Holiday Monday afternoon. Temperatures still pretty humid down in the southeast. Uh, quite a warm feel there with uh, temperatures of around... 22 or 23 degrees. Overall, I think a bit of a cooler day, and that's just because there's going to be a lot more rain and cloud around. Temperatures will probably be around 19 or 20 degrees for most of us. And under the persistent rain, actually, the temperatures might get much better, might not get much better, around uh, 15 degrees. Now we are going to the working week, which is Tuesday, of course, and we find a ridge beginning to build across the country, so things will be calming down. Pressure is probably weak enough to still be producing some showers across England and Wales on Tuesday. I think most of them will be light in nature, and uh, you'll be quite unlucky to catch one of those. A lot of dry weather around on Tuesday, I would have thought, with a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud amounts. Temperatures still quite warm, really, around 21, 22 degrees, something like that, which is above average uh, for the end of May. These dry conditions continue into Wednesday under this ridge of high pressure, so again, a lot of dry weather coming up for the middle part of the week with increasing amounts of sunshine, I would have thought. Temperatures might be going back up to around 25 degrees centigrade Fahrenheit uh, down in the south once again. But into the second half of the week, it looks like weather's gradually starting to turn a little bit more unsettled. So on Thursday we might uh, start to set off a few thundery showers again, especially across uh, eastern parts of the country. And later on, this uh, low pressure could bring in a band of more persistent heavy uh, outbreaks of rain across western Scotland and Ireland. Temperatures still look pretty warm in the south and the east into the mid-20s Celsius, but turning cooler as those outbreaks of rain arrive in the far northwest. And then as we go through into Friday, it looks like the weather is properly starting to break down then with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. I think we probably have a band of heavy outbreaks of rain coming across the country overnight first into Friday. Some of that could still be linger lingering around in the east on Friday morning. Gradually it clears away and then it's followed by sunshine and showers and some of those showers could be heavy. A uh, cooler, fresher feel all round on Friday with temperatures in the south around 18 or 19 and in the north just 13 to 15 degrees. And then into the bank holiday, uh, then into the weekend of course, this is the bank holiday weekend, into next weekend we find low pressure is heading in from off the Atlantic bringing further outbreaks of rain across the country, showers could be mixed in too and temperatures are probably on the cool side next weekend as well because everything is driving in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Finally, just having a look at the charts from the weather outlook. So we've got the showers and thunderstorms heading northwards through the course of this afternoon, followed by hot sunshine down across the south, heading into uh, Sunday. A lot of dry weather. There will be some showers or thunderstorms breaking out on the south coast later on through the channel. Central and northern parts of the country, though, getting a mostly dry and fine day. We move through into bank holiday Monday, and those showers and storms are pushing northwards again. Maybe some longer outbreaks of rain in places as well during the course of bank holiday Monday. Still quite humid in the southeast, cooler and fresher further north. And west. A few showers still left for Tuesday, but a fair amount of dry weather. And again, it's suggesting showers for Wednesday, but I think Tuesday and Wednesday there will be quite a lot of decent dry conditions uh, to be had. And then we move through into second half of the week and it gradually starts to turn more unsettled with showers or longer spells of rain moving in across the Atlantic, temperatures becoming cooler. And those unsettled conditions continue into 
uh, next weekend as well. So, in summary, going to be an interesting week ahead. We're starting off with a thundery breakdown to the hot weather that we've had over recent days. Thunderstorms moving north and east across the country today. Uh, and then more showers, thunderstorms, or perhaps longer spells of thundery rain overnight Sunday and into Bank Holiday Monday. Bank Holiday Monday could be really quite a wet one uh, this year. Following along after that, I think we get a fair amount of dry weather through the middle part of the week, and it turns more unsettled and cooler as we move into the latter stages of the week and next weekend. Come back later on for the uh, third and final seasonal model roundup for the summer of 2017. Tomorrow we've got the summer forecast coming up at Gaz Revis, and also a little sneak peek for autumn on Bank Holiday Monday. We've got the historic video looking at 1980s summers once again so it's all happening over the uh bank holiday weekend keep checking back for more but that's all for now and thanks for watching